Austin for multiple events, but today we're heading to a ranch show at a new place we've been trying to go to all year. But every time we try to go to this show, either something happens, like the one day Larry sprung a shoe in his stall and stepped on his clip so he was sore. The next time it got rained out. Another time I think we had a, oh, it got canceled again or something else was going on that day. And then had a couple conflicts. But we're heading up to a new place we haven't actually shown at, even though this is their last show. Um, called the Rock and A. It's a new series that they started this year. It's not terribly far from us. It's up in Mount Airy. But this is our last show before we go to championships Thursday. So the next couple weeks are super crazy. I mean, we're really kind of going hard until November. But um, we've been going hard all season long. But this today we go to the ranch show. It's a one-day show. Then Thursday, we leave for the ranch championships up in Harrisburg for four days, which I'm going by myself because Mike didn't want to come with me. <laughs> and um, no comment from him. I'll be home, Bill. He's going to be home. But then I leave Thursday with Larry for our championships Thursday through Sunday. Then we come home th Sunday night. I'm home for three days, and then we go down to the Debom finale in North Carolina for another Thursday through Sunday. And then we're back, and then... We have a barrel race the following weekend and then other events going on. So on top of all these things, starting to wrap up, our MBHA season is also starting to wrap up. They have now made one more race while I'm gone, unfortunately, for the DeBomb, so I cannot make that one. And then um, state finals, which I also can't make because I will be at a championships with the young horses I train at work. So it's there's a lot of things going on the next couple months, but today is our last Big chance to rack up some more points before we go to the championships um, with Larry. And then his season will at least be done. Barrel racing is still kind of going hard. But by this time, well, almost this time next week, we will be wrapping up our ranch season. So hopefully today I'm hoping to have some nicer runs than we did last time. Our last show was up in New Jersey, which we did have some really good patterns. And we did have a good show. It just was very kind of disheartening. So I'm hoping for a little bit more of a heartening show today to make me feel better going into the championships but um, we'll see how today goes and of course it's been really kind of warm this week it's gonna be another warmish day and then this week should be back into the 70s which would be nice um, especially since I'll be camping at the trailer so we'll see how today goes and hopefully fingers crossed we have a nice show and get preparation for championships
thought they were about to extend the loop for a minute. We're on our way back from a super successful day at the ranch show. Oh yeah, babe. You want to talk? Supermodel, right here. Yeah, supermodel. He's, although I was called another Carrie Underwood today. I don't know why. That's like the second time I've been Carrie Underwood, I guess called so Carrie Underwood in the past like month. But um, but no, today was a super, a really, really super good day. It was actually a really nice weather. Like it started getting warm by the end of the day, but it was a gorgeous morning. And this is a venue we hadn't been to before. And it's actually a really nice venue. The arena's are really nice. 
Um, the parking is like a little weird because it's like a lot of hills, but it's really, really pretty and scenic there. And when there was a breeze, it was like a great breeze. But Larry was a super good boy today. And we had almost, we had like 17 in the one class and I think about 13 in the other. And um, people are driving like idiots today also, mind you. Sorry, that's why I'm going like this. But um, it was really good. We actually, we placed in the halter. I think we were like fifth in halter. And we did good in little roundups, even though we're not fast. And then the trail classes were super tough. Like they weren't, there's, they're were very technical and asking for some awkward things. But Larry did really good. Our trot one, he got very distracted at the side pass because on the other side of the arena, there's like a huge hill that dips down. And he's like, oh, there's people over here, even though we looked over there earlier and was very distracted by people in the back of their car. But um, he did, he still pinned decent in that class despite that. And then did really, really good in the lope. So we had a lope over this super tight fan that was like a 10 meter circle. It was really, really hard. They actually handled it very well as well. And um, the rail classes, he was a superstar. Like he was just really good today. By our last pattern class, he was tired. But he still was trying for me. And um, they just had us doing a lot of weird canter things today, honestly. Like, all our canter classes had us picking up, like, the wrong lead when you're, kind of, if you're, like, trotting to the left. They want you to get the right lead instead and doing a lot of things on straightaways. Just very kind of unnatural things. So, by the pattern class, I think he was just a little confused. <laughs> like, why are we doing so many weird lead things just on a straightaway coming out of weird turns? But, um he still did it he just by the last one he was tired and um and it was kind of a long day we're getting it's like five o'clock and we're almost home but not yet so I'm really proud of him today we end up finishing reserve in the open walk jog and they did not have the walk jog lope results left uh when we we're left but we actually did take home money today too which was nice I didn't know it was a money show so we took home money anytime we placed top four so that was really really nice but it was a super good day this is our last show before Kyle's and today's Saturday and we leave Thursday. So it was nice seeing everybody and we're all kind of powwowing about the week this week. So we're all super excited and now I feel a lot more prepared for Kyle. He'll have it easy the next couple days until we go. And hopefully this week we can hold on to our top five in the association and cinch that for this year's finals. So we'll see you guys at Kyle in a few days. So we are finally championships bound. This vlog is going to be a, a little weird because I'm actually doing the solo this year. Now, I don't actually think I was vlogging the first time I ever came here, and that was like two years ago now. Larry and I went here our first year and do, competing in ranch riding. So, my first year, my goal was to finish top 10 with him, um, and that was our first year in ECRA, and we did. We came to Kyle sitting like ninth, and it was like a battle to stay in the top 10. Um, and we had a great, great weekend. We, it, we were iffy in the trail, which at that point was our weakest, weakest class. Um, we had some issues in trail. We actually won a pattern class and placed in all our pattern classes. And um, on Sunday, we actually placed amazingly well in our rail classes. Um, and the thing at the championships, like, so ECRA is East Coast Ranch Ride Association. This, co this covers like the East Coast. There are people that come here from, up from Massachusetts and Vermont, out from Ohio. Um, so there's a lot of people that come to these shows. And this is the one thing that's fun with Kyle's is like the one of the few times you get to see all these people. Like when we went two years ago, it was a lot of fun, met a lot of new friends. Um, and like there are some people here that come that are like, I mean, super legit. Not like we don't compete against legit ranch horses, but. Like, there are horses that will be here that are six-figure ranch horses. Ch like, world champion horses. Um, so, I was, like, very... Not overwhelmed my first year, but I really didn't know what to expect. And on Sunday, I'll never forget because I was going against these two... Again, there was a lot in our class. And um, there's these two riders in there that are from the Eastern Shore that are big, big-time ranch people. Big-time trainers. They're riding six-figure horses. Like you name it, they're, they're, they're big. The one has moved down to Texas now and they were in my low class on Sunday and it was a daughter and dad duo. 
that, again, are very, very big people. And it's usually double judge, so there'll be two judges this weekend. And the one judge pinned her first, her dad second, and me third. And I started, da- like, crying. Because I was like, to place right behind the, that quality of ranch horses, I was just, like, blown away. Um, and then the second judge placed her first, me second, and then her dad third. Again, against these huge, bigger horses. I was bawling. People that didn't even know me or Larry were, like, just loving us because... We do this because it's fun, and I really just enjoy showing my horse. And I, you would have thought I just won the absolute world championships because having this horse that literally was sentenced to die at five years old and passed off, got him, and he was crippled, skinny, nursing him back to health and doing all these things, and um, to come to that big caliber of a show and do that meant a lot. So... We were going to go last year. Last year, we were hanging out in the top 30. Because, again, just kind of like this year, I wasn't able to hit that many, many shows. And this time last year, Boo was injured. So, I had the intentions of going. But between dealing with her injury, some things at home. Um, and, honestly, Mike was a little worried about having to stay home to take care of her and deal with her antics with me being gone. I opted not to go. So we got kicked out of the top 30 by not going. Um, but this year, I decided we're going. Um, I wasn't really sure if I was going to really plan on going. Again, my goal this year was to stay top 30 and at least finish there. I wasn't expecting to come to championships sitting fifth. Um, so once I saw how high we're hitting, I was like, oh, we're going. Because I like to hold on to that top five placing. Our first year, again, we finished, I think it was ninth or 10th. I think I, think, I, think I was sitting 10th. And it was a fight to stay in the top 10. Um, and we did it. This year, I'd love to stay in the top five. So, um, we are championship bound now. It's just me this weekend. Um, I do have some friends that are going to be here competing and everything. So, I don't know what I will have video-wise of me actually competing. Unless I have someone else that can get videos for me. But um, I'm going to do the best I can to kind of show you guys what's going on and keep you posted. Hopefully, I have some decent content. Um, but it is a four-day show, so we get there today. It's Thursday, and I'll be getting there around one-ish. Um, we'll get settled in, and then later tonight we can kind of ride around the arena and see everything and get accustomed to where everything is. And then tomorrow is Friday. We show our two trail classes, the trot and lope. Saturday is our kind of bigger day that we do our two riding classes, trot and lope, and then we do our two um, quote-unquote speed classes, which is the roundup. Which is actually usually fun. Like, last the last time I came here, like, everyone was just kind of having fun with it because it's, it's speed. It's very chill. Um, so, that's usually all day Saturday. Sunday, we have our halter class and our two rail classes of trot and loop. So, Sunday's usually a quicker day, thankfully, because they're trying to get us out of there um, at a decent time, obviously. Now, this is going on during, it's, we call it Kyle, but it's going on during the Keystone International Livestock Expo. So, um... There's other events going on. I think, like, it starts this week. We're, like, one of the first events going on. So there's, eventually, there will be cattle here, and the draft horses come here and everything. So there's a bunch of things going on this week. And we're only here Thursday through Sunday, but it goes on all through next week as well. So I didn't get to see much last time because, like, a lot of stuff's going on when we're showing, and it's on the other side of the expo place. But, um, yeah, so we're on our way. Larry's just chilling in the back on his hay and all loaded up and we will get there hopefully this weather is okay it's been raining on and off and it's going to be kind of a cruddy weekend today's supposed to be the hotter day and i think it's supposed to be nice the rest of the weekend it's really just muggy but um we're gonna get there get settled in today and today's just about getting checked in and getting ready for the weekend so let's see how this goes there it is if we can get there I hate the city. I hate the city. I hate driving in the city. I hate cities. I don't do cities. As you can see, there's, it's like, I'm in like, if anyone's ever been to this place before, so it's the Pennsylvania Farm Show Complex, you're like literally in the middle of the city. And it's just everywhere. Everywhere we go. Everywhere you look. I at least was entertained watching a junkyard for the past like five minutes cleaning up stuff 
and like throwing around cars like they're nothing. So I'm stuck in traffic just trying to get through this light to get to there. It's right there, so close. Um, I'm trying to remember how to get into there so I think I have to go around the back entrance. And hopefully I can get in that way because of course around here, if you can't get in that way, then you have to drive around in the city and to try and turn around somewhere with this rig. And I just hate it, I hate it, I hate it. But we're almost here. I'm staring right at the building. Now I just have to get to the building somehow. Once I can get through this light and all this construction. And of course it's raining because why not be raining when you have to unload horses and unload all this stuff. Larry's done. I'm ready to get in there too. Keeps moving around. But we're right there. Right there. Almost there. So we are all settled in. Wow, I am a mess. I don't know what is on my face. We're all settled in. Um, Larry and I rode around. We had actually a really, really good ride. He feels amazing. And um, what's so funny is in our one trail pattern, we, well, both of them, we have to go through a gate walk over these poles and over this um, bridge and it's very very tight and Larry literally just keeps going for the first two poles and instead of stepping after the third he just goes like oh let me just walk onto the bridge because he's so big he can reach it um things are really tight so that worries me a little bit but he really didn't look at anything they're going to add a lot tonight um like mums and decorations and all that stuff like that so it'll be different tomorrow but he felt amazing. He loves these shows. He loves the big arenas. Um, he usually does really good. So he just got a bath. He's chilling right now, drying. I'm about to get a snack and refill my water because I'm so hot. Um, but it's going really, really good. So I actually have a hotel for once instead of staying in the trailer. So I can hang out here and feed him soon once he dries off and get him tucked in for the night, basically. And then go to the trailer, I mean go to the hotel, get checked in and hang out until night check. But everything's going really, really good and he felt amazing. So we're all settled in and now it's just time to hang out. Let's see what my room is like, ooh, air conditioning. That's what I want. Oops, I'm stuck. Welcome to my life, everybody, because I'm a klutz. Yay. It's actually really super nice. Thank you to my mom for letting me live a luxurious stay while we're here. And the most importantly, I have air conditioning. So it's been so hot. Oh, look, it's even bigger. Bathroom, everything. Oh, look, look. Alrighty. Actually unwind and I'm about to get ready to go meet my friends for dinner. So we're gonna go get ready, go do that, get situated, and go have some food with everybody. Thursday morning, Friday morning, and trail day. There he had his breakfast. He got some good sleep last night. And now we're just going out walking and stretching our legs. We are number eight in the open out of 17. So, so right now we're heading to the other arena to go just walk. Yeah, we're eight out of 17 in the open walk jog. Don't know how many are in the loop, but hopefully we'll hold that number. So we have a little bit. Starts at eight. It's like quarter to seven right now. I'm just gonna go stretch and before we get on and get ready to ride. So today was absolutely horrible. Just like this weather is mirroring my feelings right now. That I just want to cry. Just want to quit. I'm not going to, but that's how you feel getting my 
points in my vlogs, I'm very transparent. It's how showing goes. It's not all rainbows and sunshine. I get that. But uh, that's how today was. So started off with our walk trot trail. And that was good. I was actually pretty happy with most of it. However, I have never had an obstacle fail on me. I, our pattern is that we had a right hand, I'm gonna sit in here while I do this. Right hand work a gate. That was beautiful, beautiful, great. Walk over these raised poles and walk over a bridge. Great, walked over the poles. Larry steps on the bridge and no joke, the front back end pops up. Like literally, I'm like riding and boop, just like that. He stops, I stop and I look at it and he's like, uh, and I'm like, uh, could not figure out what to do. And I was like, ask him to try to like, cause he still had both his back legs in the poles, front right on the bridge. I don't know where his left front was. I feel like it was like behind the thing. And I try to ask him to stop forward. So he leans forward to go do it and it pops up more. So I'm like, great. So can't really ask him to back up because he's still in the poles. Somehow he gets out of the poles, but we kind of get sideways about the bridge. He vaguely goes over it in some general direction and we go on. Beautiful after that, the box, he trots in there great and stops hard, decent 360, but he taps it. Extended trot poles are great. Go to back up. Doesn't want to fully back up right into the dog leg. So he like straddles the one pole, but he puts his butt underneath it and finishes. The rest of it was beautiful. Beautiful. I was very happy with the rest of it. They, the judges, there's two judges. They gave us 13 and 14 point penalty on the bridge. With, for a bridge literally coming up. And I even, when I came back to the barn, I asked another big time trainer. I was like, can I ask you a question? As a trainer, this happens, what do I do? And he's like, honestly, I don't know. I was like, and how is it going to be judged? Because the bridge literally came off the ground. Yeah, they gave me a 14 point penalty. 14 points. These judges are very, very tough. They are like giving away penalties like they're candy. Not really giving a lot of pluses. I'm like, okay, whatever. We didn't pin in the top 10. But I was really happy with how he did. So we just did our walk jog lope. Like, I want to quit. I want to cry. I want to cry. The gate, they had an issue with the gate this morning. They had a fix that the tractor driver hit the gate, bent it. It's not closing right. They had to zip tie it. It was fine earlier. Of course, then I go to close it. It's right handed gate again. I go to close it and like the zip tie was on the wrong side. So I'm sitting there fumbling with it, trying to close it. And Larry's like, I don't know what you want me to do. So they're like playing with the gate, right? Bridge, totally fine. Cause that was never a problem. Is the fact that the bridge popped up and he literally he's put his foot on the bridge and he like put his foot and thought about it for a second. And then he's like, okay, everything's fine. Didn't care. Trot around into the box is great. We do a 360 in the box. Iffy, but okay. He ended up tapping it at one point. Come out of there, left lead departure. Great. We're going to the left lead lope. And he decides to like jump the poles and throw his head around and break stride. And I'm like, oh my God. We get through those. We do the simple change the right one. Does better around the right lead ones. And then we get to the dog leg and stop. We turn to the right so we can back up. And he's just like, no, no, I'm done. I'm done. Larry gives the biggest middle finger when he's in a mood. And like, there's no convincing him otherwise. And he's just like, no, like, F you, I'm done. And full on meltdown. He steps in the pot, throws the pot around. I was like, I think my third try, I said, screw it. I turned him to the left. And then he was fine. He's like, okay, fine. Backs through it. Vaguely okay. The rest of it's okay. But at that point, I'm like, we're probably DQ'd or OP or something stupid. Because he was just like, you know what? No, I'm not going to back up through this. So, yeah. Great. Great. Great day. <sighs> Trying to stay positive. Trying to just move past it. It's all you can do. But I'm still frustrated. <laughs> Great. My friends are having some great patterns today. They start off, some start off rough and some are doing better, but like, just sucks. Just sucks. And like, I'm not expecting to win. I'm not really not expecting to win. We had issues. There's people out here with some amazing horses doing good. I don't care. I just wish he would not be a complete and total donkey 
when he wants to be. And when he is, he's 1,400 pounds of just no. Just no. So that's how our lope pattern went and our trout pattern. Horrible. Horrible. Trout pattern again wasn't terrible. Just besides the bridge coming off the ground that we got severely penalized for. Like, I'm curious to see what the photographer got because I'm pretty sure she took a picture when it came off the ground. And be like, yeah, see, judges? Like, the bridge was actually physically off the ground at one point. What do you want me to do? And then <clears throat> this low pattern was like, great. Just great. Maybe we get two points today. Maybe we get some pity points. Probably not. So, yeah, that's where we're at. So, he just got done. I'm about to give, give him more shavings. And call it a day. It's 3.30. I'm waiting until 7 because I have to buy my expos for next week's to bomb. But that's where today's at. It's just a really cruddy day. And it's so hot in there. I'm actually chilly out here. Like, I want to put a sweatshirt on and just be cozy. But it's so hot in there. I'm just frustrated and upset. But we moved past it. And this is what happens. And this is worth showing. And judges are judges. But just while I was doing my friend's horse, I was like, breathe in, breathe out. So that's where we are today. That was Friday. Absolute train wreck and ter terrible. So tomorrow is ranch riding and roundup. Hopefully we do better tomorrow. Hopefully we do better tomorrow. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. So see you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early. Well, we are finally homeward bound and I realized I didn't do a vlog yesterday and I didn't do one this morning. Honestly, it's been very hard on my own with Larry in these shows. I don't think I have any videos unless some of my friends got some for me. But we are homeward bound now. It's Sunday. Yesterday was our riding patterns and our roundup. Our walk trot riding pattern was very, very good. I was very, very happy with how you did. Um, there were 20 of us. We did not pin in the top 10. I don't remember where we finished. And then um, our low pattern was honestly becoming one of the best patterns we would have been doing, especially technicality wise. I was really proud with how it was a kind of complex pattern and he was like doing his squares great and all the stuff. And in his extended trot down the long side, which is usually like his best thing and I just kind of let him work, he broke to the canter for a step. So we did get a penalty on that. But even with the, the one penalty, the rest of our pattern, we did manage to still place 10th by one of the judges. Um, and out of another 20-something horses or something. So maybe, I don't remember. It was like, all the opens were like 20 plus or like 19. So it was one of those. Um, so I was still really, really happy with that. I was annoyed because he broke. But um, obviously because we were having a great pattern. But things happen. And the rest of it was really, really good. And we still pinned under one judge. So that was really good. Then we did our roundup, which we actually, surprisingly, we actually do good at roundup here because so many people try to do, be fast and fancy and they mess up. We got a seventh and eighth in our roundup. And then today we had our halter and pleasure classes, which is what he usually rocks at. There were 38 geldings in our halter. The biggest halter classes I have ever seen. There were 23 in the mares. And out of 38, we actually pinned and got 7th under one of the judges. I've never placed halter here. Um, like, he's a decent halter horse, but for the ranch halter, but we usually never pin that high in these cr big, big classes. And yeah, he got 7th out of 38. So I was, I actually cried. I jumped up in the air and I gave him a hug and I started crying. Um, and then our pleasure classes, we had another 20 something horses in them. Our walk trot, we got sixth and seventh. And same thing for the lope. We got sixth and seventh. Um, out of some, again, like some really, really tough horses here this year. I mean like high dollar ex rainers ranch horse style horses and um especially the pleasure he really tried for me and he's exhausted i feel so bad um he's tired we're, so i'm very thankful that we're heading home and that we're done at a fairly decent time we should probably be back by five of course it's been a really dreary weekend here it has been raining ever since we got here and it's raining again now it's raining today heavier than it's been 
so that's fun. All right, going into a tight spot. Um, so yeah, we're both just ready to be home and in our own beds, in our own stalls, and I'm sure he's ready to go outside and be a disgusting little piglet. So it was a, it, we finished strong today, and I'm really, really proud of him today. Again, pinning again, pinning middle of the pack like that, six and seventh of twenty of the like honestly the best ranch horses in the east coast um it was really good so i was really i was really discouraged thursday with our trail classes yesterday i was getting kind of bummed just because there were some politics getting involved with some placings that a bunch of people were seeing and noticing and it was very discouraging but today i left at least feeling better so now we just kind of have to see how where we all end up um I'm not sure we'll hang on to our top five. All I kept telling myself this weekend is that there's a reason we're fifth in the East Coast coming into the show. So if the judges can't appreciate that, then that is what it is. Um, it wasn't a fluke, but uh, I'm hoping we'll at least hang into our top ten. Because this association, they don't give anything different for top five. It, like all top ten, if you get all like top ten awards, so it's a top ten buckle. Um, so if I could hang into the top 10, I would be happy with that, especially because the politics that were involved this this championship show, but again, Larry finished strong. We are both very tired, very much ready to get home, and these roads in Pennsylvania suck, especially when it's raining, so we'll see you guys when we get home and Thursday when we head down to North Carolina for the Devon finale.